It's free assets time. Let's go. Let's go! Alright, let's do it. You heard him. Here we have the sci-fi environment, the orb, the adventures character pack, and the modular rural cabin. Now, I wasn't able to redeem these previously for 45 minutes. Fab decided that all of these cost like 300 quid altogether. No idea what happened. Also, this adventures character pack, I already owned. I think I got it as part of a humble bundle. So I only got these two free assets for free. So I've been done over. But whatever, we'll take a look at all of them. Sci-fi pack, it's an environment asset that has a sci-fi theme, like destiny type asset. These characters, these are modular characters or split and best bit rigged to the UE4, UE5 skeleton as well. So we're going to use these. Gives me division, division two vibes from these characters. So that's cool. We'll take a look at those. And then this modular cabin, we'll take a look at as well. If you are new here, what we do is we will jump into the assets, have a look around them, and then we'll merge them into one, have a little run around and see how easy they are to actually use and play with. So if you like what we do here, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscription. At the end of the video, I'll show you a bit of a surprise in my fab store. Uh, so keep tuned for that. And a big thank you to our paid members, Dev Danny Diggs, Imagine Bravery, and Phoenix Studios. I appreciate you guys' support. And first off, we've got the sci-fi environment. It's got this little hellfire dude, which is a Paragon character called Murdoch. He's stood here facing against the world. And these rocks are Niagara splines. So this is a Niagara particle effect on these rocks, which is pretty cool. And then you've got this big blood red spear. What it's actually called folder type is environment sci-fi, which is a bit throw off from what it should be. It's not labeled overly accurately and these are the assets you get so not a huge amount of assets in this one this orb's really cool this is a effect and the spline with the niagara effect is also pretty fun next up we got this modular rural cabin this is all very oh look a shrek door it's all very modular very far cry six type cabin Cabin itself is actually empty, but you can run around. It's got a few other props as well. So this is the little demo level caravans in here as well. Nice water effects on the ground for sure. Let's see what we can do with this. So we're going to use the actor palette, which is a sort of secondary window that allows us to open uh, two assets at the same time. So I want this sci-fi Coliseum asset open in the second one, and then we're going to drag some assets over to merge the level. Let's have a look. So, what do we want? Definitely want this red orb in here, and I want this spline as well. I think that will be it, but we'll see. And now, when we play from here. We have this anomaly happening inside our rural cabin area, which looks pretty cool. Be able to merge those two together. All right, adventure pack. The listing only really showed these female characters, but actually, there's like a ton of characters in here as well, and there's some very Last of Us type throwbacks. That's a little guitar. The left hand side is the UE4 skeleton and the right hand side is the UE5 skeleton. So we can see edit UE5 adventurer and then edit UE4 adventurer. So that's pretty cool. All these animations, just the standard locomotion setup, nothing really to write home about up there. And it looks like a pretty detailed character. That's a bit too close. Gas mask and stuff. So I like it. And now with with it being modular, we can sort of swap and change these outfits and whatever we want really. Just in the normal viewport, this orange guy, just nothing special about him. And we're just gonna swap him to be a adventurer. 
and see how easy it is to change characters. So now we've got this Division 2 Rikers dude. And if I play now, we've got the Division 2 Rikers dude. Straight up characters. They sure every character on the market should be rigged to at least the UE4 or UE5 skeleton if they're a humanoid. Unless there's a really good reason not to. So now we can go into game animation sample and find the character money. And we can just swap the skeletal mesh of money to what we need it to be. Go to our world settings, change money, and play. And we get all of the animations and straight up character, straight added to guess. So that's nice. No real faff messing around on that. All of my other setup should work as well. So nice and easy. And then I said to you as a bonus, there would be a bonus. So I've just uploaded to my fab store all the gas animations, the ALS animations, the Lyra animations, and those Paragon animations that I've done previously. So these are all now on the fab store for you to redeem, as well as all of my other assets as well. So I didn't make a big deal out of this because I know there's it's been done before and some other creators have done it as well. But they're now on fab via me so hopefully you'll enjoy those and have a fantastic day